Shelby Coates to our top story tonight at 6. Preparations are underway at the Georgia National Fairgrounds right now ahead of tomorrow's gate opening and ribbon cutting event. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez is at the fairgrounds to show us how the fair plans to keep visitors safe when it comes to COVID-19. I'm standing at the west entrance of the fairgrounds where vendors say they're excited to be back this year after the fair was canceled last year. But if you're planning on heading over here, fair officials tell me masks will be recommended throughout the fairgrounds. Almost all of the vendors will have hand sanitizing stations around the grounds at their booths. The facility, the Georgia National Fairgrounds, has put up hand sanitizers on all the buildings. Some concession stands in the fairgrounds will also have plexiglass to keep workers and fairgoers safe. And if you haven't had your vaccine yet, vaccines will be offered in the McGill Marketplace beginning Monday. COVID protocols aren't the only new safety measures put in place. There's also a new youth policy. Any youth that's 16 and under will need a legal guardian to enter the fairgrounds. I do want to be clear that that legal guardian, it can be one per group of teens, so it's not one teen to one guardian. One vendor says she's been going to the fair for 15 years. Mama Jane Harris hopes people will feel safe with all of the new safety measures in place this year. We make sure that we sanitize our counters a whole lot more than we normally did. Um, we also keep the tables more sanitized. There's somebody dedicated to doing nothing but washing tables. Just like previous years, fair officials tell me they just want everyone to come out and have some fun or have some cotton candy. In Perry, Elizabeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. And rides at the fair will also be cleaned after each use. Just remember the fairgrounds makes its official opening, marks its official opening tomorrow.